please welcome our host for this evening from CBS's Inside Edition and 1997 Hob Hobie alumna, Miss Megan Alexander. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. So thrilled to see you all. I know some people are still taking their seats and getting situated. We are so excited to welcome you to our Hobie Albert Schweitzer Awards Banquet. Uh, this is my fifth year being here. It is always a wonderful time. Wonderful to see some familiar faces, many familiar faces, and welcome to anyone if this is your first Hobie dinner. We are thrilled to have you with us, and I guarantee, I, I think a little of the Hobie magic will rub off on you. You're in for an exciting evening. Hobie changes lives. The Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation means so much to so many of us. And tonight, you're going to meet some incredible individuals who are serving our world uh, in awesome and diverse ways. We're also going to honor uh, philanthropists in our community who are giving back and being excellent role models uh, for this next generation. I want to tell you a little bit about my story at Hobie, and you'll hear a lot of stories here tonight. We all have a Hobie story. Uh, as mentioned, I was a 1996 Hobie alumnus, Seattle, Washington. A sophomore at King's High School, and my counselor came into the different classes in high school and said, Hey, would anyone like to be the Hobie representative for our high school? You need to write an essay on leadership, turn it in, and one of you will be selected. And I remember thinking, It's interesting, I'm intrigued, I loved being a part of leadership, student council, and so forth, but had no idea truly what I was getting into. I filled out that essay and I was chosen to represent my high school at Hobie. And what the Hobie experience is, is they take a sophomore leader from all high schools now around the world, public and private, and in your state, you have a three-day retreat. And so I headed off to this retreat and had the time of my life. High school sophomores, you think about what an important and impactful age that was in terms of making decisions, thinking about college, what you want to be when you uh, grow up. And as I, explained to Hobie, as I explained to people what Hobie is about, I was thinking about it tonight, I really think that Hobie is so powerful because it challenges us to ask why. Yes, I want to be this when I, want, when I grow up, but why? How am I going to benefit mankind? How am I going to help others? How can I give back to my community? Um, we arrived at this retreat, you don't know anybody, but you instantly start talking to people from all different peer circles, which is so important, and one of the, uh, I think, most viable and important things that Hobie does. It gets us mixing and talking. We discuss things like peer pressure, how to handle it, what makes a good leader, business ethics, politics, teamwork, social justice. Experts come in and ask us to think deeply about issues, and then we could ask them questions. We also have fun. I mean, Hobie is a blast. We have a dance one night. We all get together and play games, team building exercises. Um, most importantly, I meet new friends, and Hobie caused me to dream bigger than I ever thought possible. One of my counselors at the Hobie retreat was at Yale, and she was asking us where we wanted to go to college. And I remember I said something like, well, I never really thought about venturing out too far you know, from my hometown. And she said, why not? Why not? You can do it. Well, 20 years later, I just wrote a book this past year, and there were many moments where I thought, oh, I can't do this. Why me? Why am I doing this? And the late, great Hugh O'Brien is in my head going, why not? Why not you? Do it. And I was so very honored uh, for him to write a foreword to my book, and he has in so many ways made me the person that I am today. One of my personal favorite moments from the retreat was Sunday morning at my Washington retreat. We had an interfaith meeting where students from all different faiths came together, and we just supported one another, meditated together, all different denominations and religions, and just said, hey, I support you. Let's have some fellowship here and talk about, appreciate our differences and that we all believe in a higher power and just giving back and loving our brother and sister. That is what Hobie is all about. Went on to college and got a job in television and spoke at the Texas Hobie Seminar. And then I sort of uh, got involved in my career as we do in life um, and, and sort of lost track of, of some of what was going on with Hobie. And Javier Lafianza, our CEO, tracked me down. And about six years ago, he persistently kept sending me, sending me emails. Hey, Megan, I know you're in New York. I know you're a Hobie alumna. We got to get together. We got to do coffee. 
And I stand here so thankful that he continued to pursue me to be involved with Hobie. And I gotta say, Javier pursues me more than sometimes my high school and college alumni programs do. That's the power of Hobie and the alumni network and the ways that we can support each other and encourage each other. So Javier, thank you for finding me and getting me involved again. And I want to pay it forward. I want to get people involved in this incredible family and this incredible organization because of it. And as you look around the room, you know, friends in here have helped each other with businesses and supported nonprofits and different uh, relationships have been formed because of this friendship. Well, this was all possible because of our inspirational leader and founder, the late, great Hugh O'Brien. In 1958, Hugh had a vision to create a program to empower youth teaching them not what to think, but how to think. 60 years later, Hugh's direct impact has grown to close to half a million young people, with countless others caught in the ripple of inspiration that is Hobie. In his own words, Hugh believed that every person is created as the steward of his or her own destiny to share with others, through service, a reverence for life in a spirit of love. Tonight, we see a small part of the ripple effect of Hugh's vision as we share stories of alumni who also had big dreams and made them a reality. Our two outstanding young alumni's compassion and purpose have propelled them to making a difference for thousands of other youth across the world. They are the epitome of the name of our award, Outstanding. Our Alumni Achievement Award recipients each bring a unique leadership style and experience and exemplify the ideals we hope to instill in our youth, and we couldn't be prouder of them. And our Albert Schweitzer Award honorees will share their incredible stories of compassion, vision, and courage to become leaders others hope to emulate. Heather Bresch, His Excellency T. Hamid Albati, and Simi Delia. Let's give them a round of applause, shall we? A very, very special thank you to our many sponsors and donors who have so generously supported us tonight. It is such a team effort and we thank you. We know you have a lot of invitations and a lot of different organizations that are pulling on you for your time and talents and we are so grateful that you chose to support Hobie and be with us tonight. Above all, thank you to our diamond level sponsors, Mylan, Cravath, Swain and Moore, and Wilson, Sonsini, Goodrich, and Rosati. Because of your hope, because of your help, Hobie will serve over 12,000 young people this year around the world. And now I introduce a man who tirelessly promotes Hobie to our world, and we're all jealous of him because we think he has the best job getting to hang out with Kurt Hobie and Hobie alumni. My dear friend, ladies and gentlemen, Javier Lafianza. Fianza. 